Hello guys, welcome, welcome after one year. And today we'll be learning something very cool which called GCM flip animations and we'll be creating these using byte.js. Okay, so let's jump into the project. So you just need to go get click on the get started button and then copy it, paste it over here. Okay, and then need to add vanilla to JavaScript and run yarn and as we will be using gsap uh, plugin so we don't need to use cdn we can easily install over here gsap okay so i install it okay cool so now and i need to go to the tailwinder css you can also install a tailwinder css uh, if you go over there by.js okay so it, it's just a simple project so I, i'm not using this i'm using cdn this okay so if i go there so i will add it over here okay and also i will add this one over here okay cool so that's it i need to remove this one remove this counter okay and clear this one okay and clear also css because i will use sas my favorite one okay so yeah that's it everything is clean now i need to run it so if i just run if i just type yarn dev then it will run it if i click then there's nothing over here the type hello world and if i see did you see it's working fine so it's so easy uh, to use byte on like any of your projects okay so guys these are html and css code uh, i mean sas code uh, and I don't want to code HTML CSS because we are focused on creating GCF flip animation. But but I will try to explain HTML CSS. Then go to the JavaScript. Okay. So this is the main tag and main tag cover every single con like a div uh, for our website. We have head tag on and we have a description div which basically um, uh, for uh, we where basically Steve try to explain himself a little bit. And these are intro images and by default we have a class called initial. Okay and these are our, our like image grid so this image grid basically used for all the uh, bottom images okay okay so in the sas we have uh, nothing much like i just use this uh, to style our images all the images that uh, we have uh, in the entry images okay so um yeah so i just make all the images position absolute uh, and then uh, i set a fixed width and height okay so for different different images okay cool and uh, on also also i try to set the position uh, to the initial images okay initial images not the entry images okay so i set all the position like top 64 yeah yeah so that's it and then um uh, we have a image center which basically um yeah, appear when all the images go to center okay so when all the images go to center uh, then this initial button will be removed okay then this image center will be added there and then all the images have a new style so basically when uh, the initial uh, class removed then all the style will be gone for all these images then we'll set image center and image center has its own image style okay this one and then after that when uh, like uh, flip animation start and everything will flip and happen on the image grid okay and also we have a like <laughs> Uh, style for image grid images this one height yeah so that's it before jump to the javascript we need to install something called live sas compiler because we are not using css we are using sas okay so if i search live sas compiler okay so this one you need to install i already installed so you just need to click on the install and then you need to go to the style or sas you don't need to go to the style or sas you will see something called watch sas uh, in the bottom section on our, in our bs code then you just need to click over there so if i click over there it will generate style or css for us okay okay so let's see how our website looks like if i reload it looks cool all the uh, style working fine so let's go to the javascript okay so, so first import gsap 
from G cell okay and then import G cell flip plugin flip plugin okay and also first we need to register it okay register the plugin sorry okay I will create some function which helps us to us not to use the same code again and again okay so let's create some common function called select for query selector okay e and then document dot query selector sorry e okay copy it and it should be l query selector all and we need to name it select all and then we also need to create some variable so yeah let's do image grid for our image grid okay image grid did you see we don't need to uh, repeat this code again and again whenever we uh, add any query selector okay or use any query selector so like you need to sure about that that the class name is correct okay so for that i just copy and paste i think it's perfect yeah and then we need to create intro images and then select again intro const images select all intro images image so i think i okay there's a two yeah yeah it's perfectly working so again i need to add a header header and then select all head any okay and then we need to create this tagged and select all stack so and make sure you like perfectly at the same classes did you see the same class okay they stacked okay like when we animate the site we basically animate so many elements at the same time it could be a, a angle tag it could be a paragraph tag so that's why i just named the same name so that's the things so now let's create a function for our first animation it should be fed up images okay so let's create a function I return it because it's an error function and I okay so yeah y0 and then opacity 1 and then duration 1 and then is gonna be power 3 in out and then stagger gonna be 0 0.02 okay so I need to call it okay now uh, we add y0 and opacity 1 okay but we didn't set it okay so we need to set uh, it uh, y80 or opposite is 0 okay so let's set it gsep set images okay images y80 or 100 like whatever you want like and then opacity sorry opacity 0 let's see how our animation looks like okay so if i go there it's cool so now i need to animate the second animation which basically move images to the center okay which basically helps us to move images to the center so let's create another function okay i think just copy and paste it will be the same things and it will be move images okay and now we need to do the flip animation over here so for flip animation we need to call um we need to create a variable called state and then i think you just need to search on google like it is a flip plugin and go to the documentation read the documentation clearly you will like learn more from there so we'll set the images because we are basically animated or flipping our images okay so these are the images and then we can now we need to do the remove things maybe 
I told you also already I will remove the initial class initial class after fair, fair animation okay so into sorry out. okay and it should we will add a class name called image center okay cool and then we will animate it like flip and then it should be from it would be from and it will be state this state okay this one and we will add duration to okay duration 2 we will add stagger 15 okay and it would be expo in and out and we need to add this function over here on complete so when this fade up image animation complete then this image will call okay move images to center so let's see how is it look like so yeah it looks great okay let's do the next animation okay so next animation will be uh, basically uh, take all the images to the bottom okay so we'll again using the flip things okay so let's create another function I just copy and paste then it should be scale bottom image okay and then we again we already said it and now we need to remove this image center class okay and as we are using a uh, tailwind or css we can uh, like directly add hidden so that it basically uh, do display none things okay so now we'll append all these images to our image grid deep okay so images images basically all these images okay images so images dot for each so now we get single image using e image okay so image grid append child append child image okay this image so basically this uh, uh like image will append image grid deep okay so now we'll do the flip animation and again it will be but uh, this time we will use absolute true which basically helps us uh, to get the animation perfectly you know because we are using absolute also over here okay so yeah that's it now let's see oh it will not we'll do the same thing on complete so after complete the move image to the center it will uh, start animating okay this one so let's see how it look like boom is go to the center boom is go to the bottom so if i inspect it then you will see the life cycle so this the this one is hidden because we add hidden in the end did you see so if i just reload it then you will see there's the initial and then it's turned to image center then it's hidden and then all the images go to this one and there's nothing so there's the life cycle and it's so simple i hope you understand let's animate the information okay I mean the info of Steven okay so let's create another function called info animations and I think naming uh, always depends on you but remember one thing name everything like so uh, like uh, so many people can understand easily name so we need to create another function called info image mission info animation so yeah now we will create a timeline for this so gsap timeline okay by default we will not anything over there so tl2 so stacked okay and then stagger 0.2 opacity 1 y0 okay and then we'll again at two header okay header is it header header did you see like header name to header header and then add i think i just copy and paste and then return the tl okay but the thing is we use two not from so we need to set the opacity zero y we need to add some value in y okay so we'll set it 
so it should be head room head and it would be stacked okay so yeah then we need to add like it's uh, all up to us okay so yeah so we need to add minus 200 and opposite is 0 and it should be 330 sorry 30 and opposite is 0 so if we go the side right now you'll see the whole animations and it's looking so good and spicy did you see oh why it's not working boom let's see why it's not working oh we again forget to add on complete function okay now it will definitely work boom let's see animating to the center flip to the bottom yep here we go we got the full animation and yeah so that's it in next video i will add barba.js over here so that you can get a smooth page transition with this animation okay so stay tuned guys hope you all feel fine see you on the next tutorial bye 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 bye, bye.